guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. So today's video is going to be another shower routine video. I'm going to be doing a berry slash strawberry themed shower routine. You guys really enjoyed my coffee scented routine that I did last month, so I figured I would go ahead and get on here and do another routine for you guys. I also really enjoy watching these on TikTok, and so I like the longer versions as well, so you can kind of see and explain the products that you're going to use. Um, so if you're interested in seeing what my berry scented routine is going to look like, then just keep watching. Starting off, I always have to set the mood. So we're going to have a few candles and wax products. Um, up first is some wax. I have the Summer Berry Lemonade from Sonoma. And I also have strawberries and cream from Sensationals from Walmart. Um, I actually already put the strawberries and cream downstairs in our warmer, so that's going in the background. Um, so when I walk out the shower, I'll like kind of smell it and sniff it and feel real nice and like springy. So those are a couple options you can do for wax. And then for in the bathroom, I am going to light a candle and I'm going to light my strawberry pound cake. This is basically a strawberry pound cake routine, um, except for a few products because I don't have everything in strawberry pound cake. Um, but this is the candle that I got at Candle Day. Um, strawberry pound cake is fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, whipped cream with essential oils. I'm already like way more than halfway done with this one. I'm going to be sad to see it go. It is such a good scent and a really good like springy, um, summery kind of scent. So I'm going to, I'm definitely going to pick up another one, um, probably at SAS, but I'm going to go ahead and light this right now. And just by the way, I'm like in workout clothes because I worked out. It's a Sunday. I worked out and then I ate my breakfast and now I'm going to go ahead and take my shower, but Anyways, besides that, um, before I get in the shower, I always use this dry brush from EcoTools. Um, if you haven't heard of dry brushing before, it just kind of exfoliates, get the, gets the dead skin off. And um, it also helps with circulation. So if you have like veins in your legs, it can help with that as well. I've been using this for about two years now. Um, consistently, before I get in the shower, I'll rub it up. And you always want to rub it towards your heart center. So you'll go down here and then on your legs, you'll go up. And yeah, I just, I really enjoy it. I also used to have those like bumps on the back of my arms and they've definitely gone down and they're pretty much not even there anymore since I've been using this. So highly recommend getting a dry brush. They have these at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls too, but I got this one from Ulta. And then you guys know the drill. First thing we do in the shower is shower gel. Well, sometimes. Sometimes I'll do shampoo and conditioner, but my hair is actually curled, so I'm not gonna wash it today. Um, but I have two options that I can choose from. I have Pink Velvet Cupcake. This is from last fall. The notes are sparkling red berries with pink marshmallow and sugar praline. I think red berries is just like strawberries in my opinion. Um, maybe raspberries or something in here too, but it's kind of like perfumey berry and I really, really enjoy this scent. And then I also have in the Moisturizing Body Wash Strawberry Pound Cake. And of course, can't go wrong with this scent. It's literally like a staple now. It smells so good. So I think it's the same exact notes as the, um, as the candle. Yeah, fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. A nice like bakery scent if that's what you're going for, but this one is a good um, like floral kind of berry scent. Um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet. You'll have to wait and see when I get in the shower. Um, but yeah, Pink Fella Cupcake is from fall of last year and I really hope they bring it out again this fall because like I am in love with it. It is so good. And then today I don't actually need to shave because I only shave like once a week and I did it last night. But if I were going to, I would use this um, body polish which is basically just a body scrub from Bath & Body Works in the uh, Mineral Body Polish plus Hyaluronic Acid. This just smells like water. It smells like aquatic and it's like a really heavy exfoliator. I think it's salt. Um, I think it's a salt exfoliator. Yeah, purifying sea salt. So it's like really heavy and I love my scrubs to be super heavy. So if I was going to scrub today, I would use this, but I'm not, so I'm not gonna use it. But definitely recommend if you can find this again at the Summer SAS, cause it was on a really good deal. I think it was like $6 or something and it's regularly $18.50, so really good deal. And then before I towel dry, this is like my go-to secret for the summer. This is the Jergens Natural Glow um, in shower tanner. I love this so much. I get it in the shade medium to deep. 
um, just because I usually already have like a, t a little bit of a tan, but this like helps maintain it and keep it um, even if I'm not going in the sun again. I love using this. I pick this up every spring and I use it through to the fall. So like I just, I absolutely love this stuff. You put it on your wet skin and then you towel dry off and you have to be really gentle when you towel dry or else it'll kind of like wipe it away. Um, but I seriously love this stuff. And then when we're out of the shower, we're gonna use some lotion. This is the Strawberry Pound Cake Lotion from Bath & Body Works. I actually just got this. Um, my friend just gave it to me as a gift, so thank you, JC. And really excited to use it for the first time in combination with all my Strawberry Pound Cake stuff. So very excited to have this little guy. And then for my spray, I am going to be using, I don't actually have a Strawberry Pound Cake. I do wanna get like a mini spray of it during SAS this summer, but for now, I'm gonna use Pink Velvet Cupcake since I have it. Um, this is from the fall. You literally can't even see the writing on it. Um, but again, it's sparkling red berries with pink marshmallow sugar praline. Kind of just like a floral berry. So good. I love this. It's so amazing. And then for my perfume today, I'm gonna to be using Victoria's Secret Teas Heartbreaker. I have a little roll-on that I got during last um, semi-annual sale in the um, winter time. So we're gonna be using that. And to finish it off, I will be using a sheet mask today. I feel like my skin just needs like a little bit of a treatment and I love doing masks on the weekends. So I'm gonna be using the Cream Shop Hello Kitty Shooting Stars Sheet Mask. Um, it says intense glow and reduces blemishes. So I will be using this when I get out of the shower and letting it kind of like sit on the skin. But that is all the products that I wanted to show you before we hop in the shower. So let's go ahead and get in the shower. I'm gonna put some like ambient, nice lo-fi music in the background and you guys just like enjoy the little shower sequence. don't have one of these like microfiber microfiber wow microfiber towels for your hair you definitely need one i got a two pack from marshall's for like eight bucks um but yeah i use this to protect my hair from the water when i get in the shower and i just have a little clip holding it in the back so that way you know doesn't get wet or anything um these clips are off of amazon highly recommend getting you some big clips like these I use them like literally all the time. And sometimes if I don't wanna put like a ponytail in my hair and get like the lines, I'll put just a clip in it. I swear you guys, it's a holy grail. So um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put on my little spa headband. This is from um, Kitsch, I think, Kitsch. It was like 15 bucks, but honestly worth it because I use it every single day. And it has a little ponytail slot. So like when you put it in the back, if you have a ponytail on, you can pull that through. Um, but I always have my hair in a clip when I wash my face or anything, so I'm just going to put that on and put on some toner before I put the mask on. Um, because you really are supposed to put on toner before you mask. So I'm using the Mary Kay Clear Proof Blemish Control Toner. Um, I use this if I need something during the day, but at night I will use the e.l.f. Super Tone Toner with Brightening Fruit Acid. So it is like an acid toner, and this is like the first toe dip that I did with acids, and I do really like it. Um, I feel like it definitely gets my skin clean as well. Okay, starting off, we're gonna do some lotion. So I'm just gonna go with, with strawberry pound cake for the first time. Let's see if I love it. Uh, 
I'm just kidding. I'm definitely going to love it. <laughs> I love it in the shower form. I got it when it first came out last year in the shower shower gel. I don't think I got it in anything else. Um, so this will be my first time trying it in a lotion form. I definitely like it though. It feels nice. It smells good. It's very bakery-like without being like too much bakery. So if you guys are not big bakery fans, I feel like you'll still like this. If you like a fruity scent, I feel like it's, it's still good for that, for fruitiness. Okay, I'm going to do the legs. I usually use, let's see, maybe this much, maybe a little bit more for each leg. So, um, yeah, we're doing that down here. But you're not going to get to see it or else I might flash you. So let me know down below um, some of your favorite scents for spring and summer. Are you like a coconut girl? Are you fruity? Are you tropical? Or do you just like stick with the basics like warm vanilla sugar or something? Let me know down below because I'm actually pretty curious. I for one don't enjoy coconut scents that much. Maybe like in a mini to bring on vacation in the summer. But for the most part, I really don't like coconut scents. Um, I can do them in small doses, but they're not my favorite. Okay, next we're going to go with Pink Velvet Cupcake. All over the body, you know the drill. Coat it up. And this is how you use up sprays, girls. This is how, girls and gentlemen. So, now that I've sprayed around, I will go in with my perfume roller ball. And do a little bit behind the ears on the wrists since I already have the lotion there I feel like it's enough um like enough stickiness tackiness for it to stay mm. and I feel like this perfume I asked the like sales associate for something fruity and this is one that she she suggested so I do feel like it's like slightly fruity slightly floral so if you're looking for a fruity floral perfume Victoria's Secret Tea's Heartbreaker give it a try um, I figured picking up a rollerball won't hurt, and if I don't like it, I, I'll have it used up quickly, but yeah, so far, I'm really loving it. So we're going to go in again with the Hello Kitty face mask. I'm like out of breath, guys. <laughs> that was a steam shower. <laughs> okay, I moved you a little bit, so I may be like weird looking at the camera right now through the mirror, <laughs> but this is what we got. Don't forget to rub it into the neck. So now that I look ridiculous, we're gonna give it 20 minutes and come back. Okay, it's been like literally 20 or 30 minutes. Like I wanted to wait for the, the mask to like fully dry. So it's like, it's like pretty much done. Let's take it off. Ooh, that feels good. I like to rub it in a little bit. So I already changed. I'm wearing like a new shirt and just like Nike shorts because I'm not really doing much today. Uh, I'm just going to be at home, but I'm going to put on my deodorant. This is Degree Motion Sense Ultra Clear. I love this brand. And then don't forget, moisturizer and SPF. So I'm using CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I just got into CeraVe and like Cetaphil and stuff. Um, if you guys know Hiram on YouTube and TikTok, I think. Hiram Skincare or something. He, def he recommends... Um, CeraVe like all the time. So I just started using it and I like it. I feel like it's nice and simple and I know that it's not like I know that it's not the reason that I'm breaking out. It's probably something else which really I have like breakouts on my face mostly from wearing a mask. So what can you do? Next I'm going to go with my SPF. This is the Beat Shield um, Antioxidant Fluid. They don't make this anymore <laughs> um, because I think there was something going on with like the manufacturing of it and it is like a Korean based sunscreen that was not yet approved by the FDA in America but it is in Korea and I think like they tested it and the claim did not like add up to what they thought like it wasn't exactly 50 SPF or something so they just like stopped making it and took it off the shelves until they could fix that so Probably only like 30 SPF, but I'd rather have something than nothing. I'm gonna take the headband and the clip out. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Love the hair down. And then I'm gonna go in with my lip mask. This is the Innisfree um, lip sleeping mask. I just use this like all the time. I'm literally almost out. Look, that's like the only bit that I have left. 
almost gone. Uh, but I have a, what is the lip sleeping mask that everybody talks about? I have that on deck to use next. I'm really excited, but I found this one, I think at Marshall's or TJ Maxx. It's really good. If you find it, highly recommend. Okay. And that's everything for my shower routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you enjoy shower routine videos. Like if this is something that you guys like, then maybe I'll just keep doing them with different scents that I have. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.